blue zone, which is I guess our red zone, and you know, you can be the fastest person on the planet. It's hard to get open in the red zone unless you're unless you're big and you can make plays down there. So um, we have a big emphasis on I guess just manhandling, you know, going up and get the ball. We've, we've been starting to throw a lot more fades, back shoulders, and so it's an emphasis where big guys can excel at that. And so that's something that it's unstoppable if you can perfect. So having big receivers. You know, at all times, is it's impossible for people to, to defend. I mean, plus, Coach Manhall, um, his input on it is, is his biggest worry on the field is is not you know the box, it's not the run game. It's if the receiver, the receivers on the other team, have guys are six six and plus. That's his biggest worry. So, I mean, that goes throughout every coach in the country. That's probably the biggest worry is not being able to stop the deep ball and just the, the easy pitch and catch by the big guys. So. But it's one thing to be 6'6 six, six and tall and have that awesome catching radius, but you guys have to have the hands to lock it down. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I saw Taryn locking it down while you were out this spring, and I know that you've got the ability to lock it down as well. Talk about your ability to, to catch the ball and secure that. Um, it's, it's one thing, yeah, like you said, to be able to jump. I mean, you can work on your leaps, you can work on your hops, but even after you catch it, it's still not a catch until you can actually turn and tuck it away because our DB, especially now on a team that's so aggressive, that if you don't, if you have that thing caught in the air above their head, and you don't bring it down and, and keep it secure, it's coming out for sure. So I mean, that's every corner in the country can do that. Is uh, being able to go up and get it and squeeze the heck out of it to, to be able to bring it in tight. And so it's a talent that you can't really work on unless you're in practice doing one on ones. So it's a thing that you need to really focus on in practice is being able to catch it first and then tuck it away and, and spin off and get some more yards and not just. Because when you're doing routes on air, Taysom just throwing to you. You can catch it all day, but the second you have a DB on you, it's the strip right after you catch it. So you have to be big and be strong and have finesse with the ball after you catch it. I keep hearing that Taysom's changed his mechanics. What what does that mean? Uh, what exactly has changed? Oh, I, I mean, I haven't seen any change. So maybe small details, but nothing that I, I've ever seen. So, I mean... He's been throwing the ball, in my opinion, better than he ever has. So whatever, whatever is going on, I guess it's working. But I, I, that's news to me. I guess I don't know about any mechanic changes. So. Mitch Cody graduated, but you still have a very deep receiving core this year. How does it compare to years past that been here? I think uh, you know Cody's. I mean, irreplaceable. He's one of the best receivers ever come to BYU, if not the best. And uh, he's a great guy, good friend. And uh, it's hard to replace individuals, but I think the receiving core that we have now is so deep it, that that's that's going to be a prized possession for us. I mean, having Cody on the field is definitely dangerous, uh, and it was awesome for us. But being able to have you know four starters in and then four subs come in that are all just as good as each other, then that's probably more dangerous than um, it's probably that's probably a bigger worry for any other defense than just having one player that can play. And uh, I mean, should we miss Cody for sure? But. Having a deep core is definitely something that we're looking forward to. Coach and I talked about wanting to go deep a lot this year. Have you noticed that mentality? Yeah, it started last spring when he came back. We threw deep more than we ever have, and there was times, and there's a, I guess the Utah State, Houston, Boise State, that span of games. In the middle of the season, we started throwing deeper, and we had a, you know, more of a deep threat, and those are the games that we were doing our best, and I think that's kind of recognizes with the tall guys we have, with the speed we have, going deep is, is our answer and our key. So. And that's got to pump you up as a pass catcher oh, yeah, to be able to sure, do yeah. I mean, that's my favorite thing in the world is to do that, so yeah, for sure it does. You mentioned the DBs. Um, the DBs this year seem to be as counts as they've ever been. What oh, yeah. can you say about them, and how does that help you guys as a receiver? They are, they are. Since I've been here, they are definitely the most talented they've ever been. There's guys that... Were, our backups right now that would start other places, no doubt. So it's fun to know that to have confidence. I mean, we're, they're on the same team as us. And as much as it seems like they're on different teams, you know, throughout most of the year because they're the defense, you know, we, we, we hate them. You know what I mean? So as much as, as you see that, it comes game time and you want to have confidence in them. And we have four or five guys that can all start and play. So they're going to be rotating a lot and I'll have confidence in all year. And, and in practice, man, it's just. It's a game. I mean, every single practice, it's a, it's, it feels like a game. I mean, there's chatter back and forth. There's guys talking smack to each other. And it's all in fun, but it, it's intense for sure. It's the most intense summer practices we've ever had. And so it's made me better. And it's uh, I know for a fact that they're the best sport we've had. And they show in the field. So, yeah, As a position group, what have you guys been working on the most this offseason? Man, um, you know, I've actually had the opportunity to meet with Coach Hall. Personally, just ask him, you know, what is it that we do need as a receiving core? And um, 
something that he just made clear to us was, you know, the most conditioned guys on the team are the guys like your full speed the longest. It's not the guys like you run marathons, it's the guys like your full speed the longest. And in our offense, you know, I noticed that in a game, I didn't just go against one corner the whole time or two corners. It was always like five or six because they were getting so tired. And so the more that we can stay fresh and the better shape we're in, then we can go full speed longer. And as they're subbing, we're still full speed. And we can take advantage of the, the newer guys, their freshmen, have a seven for their, their starters. And so um, being, being in the best shape as possible while remaining our great route running that we do is probably the biggest key that we focus on so far. So. And they've been kicking our butt for sure this offseason, so it's been good for us.